Greetings my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy and welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking a zucchini and I'm going to be bring, turning it into a pineapple. Why? Because it's summer and you've got a garden and you've got tons and tons of zucchini that you're tired of eating and you might want a little change up and you might want some pineapple. <laughs> I have Chrissy Ray to thank over on Twitter who suggested this recipe. Never heard of it before, but apparently it was popular in the 80s and Utah State was the first to publish an actual recipe. And it's said that the recipe came from roadside farm stands that were selling boatloads of zucchini in the summer. And alongside it, they would have cans of pineapple juice. And this recipe was a way to pitch zucchini sales because if you're tired of zucchini, you can turn it into pineapple. <laughs> So big thanks to Chrissy for getting in touch with me. If you have a recipe or a suggestion you'd like me to test out or try, make sure to follow me on social media. Alrighty, so let's do our magic and make this into this. So I'm gonna be testing out two recipes for pineapple zucchini. The first one is for dried zucchini pineapple. So I started it yesterday and the recipe comes from Frugal Living on Watkins Ranch and I'll put a link down below. For that recipe, I'm gonna start off with one large zucchini. It says very specifically that this recipe will not work with smaller zucchini and I think it just doesn't have the structure or the fiber necessary for the whole kind of long cooking time and drying time. So get yourself a large zucchini like the ones that you're just like, oh, look, there's a little surprise there. That zucchini, we're gonna wash it and peel it, and then we're gonna cut it lengthwise and then cut it in half crosswise. These large zucchinis tend to have really large seeds, so take a spoon and clear out the seeds, and then cut the long pieces into three strips. And then you're gonna cut these into one and a half inch chunks, or pretty big chunks, because these are gonna shrink a lot. The original recipe calls for pineapple juice concentrate in the tubes that you can find in the freezer section, but for the life of me, I couldn't find any and I didn't want to make lemonade or orange flavored zucchini. So I use some pineapple juice, which is made from pineapple concentrate, and I took about a cup and a half of that, added that to a saucepan along with my chopped cubed zucchini brought that up to a boil, and then I also added one cup of sugar. The recipe says if you don't want to add the sugar, you can certainly omit it. And once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat to a simmer, and simmer this until it turns translucent, which took about maybe eight minutes. After eight minutes has elapsed, you're gonna cook it for an additional 30 minutes. So after 30 minutes, you're going to drain the zucchini pieces into a colander, and the recipe says you can reserve this syrup and cook another batch if you like. At this point, they look a lot like canned pineapple. They have this bright yellow color and they're kind of translucent. It's kind of amazing. So now we're going to dry these pieces out. So place them on a dehydrating rack at 130 degrees Fahrenheit and dehydrate these for 12 to 18 hours. So here are what the pineapple pieces look like after they've been dried and they've shrunk significantly, but look how bright yellow they are. It's kind of amazing how they take on such a bright pineapple-y color. And they smell like pineapple too. So here I've got some powdered sugar. Make a little bed here. And we're gonna coat these with, with the sugar so they're not sticky. Now I've got a little strainer here and I'm gonna shake off the excess sugar. I feel like this is something my grandmother might have given me as a substitute for candy. You're like, no, I just want a Starburst. Now have some of this. This is actual dried pineapple. I use this in my pork cake recipe. So let's do a little comparison. So there's definitely a difference in color. The pineapple is yellow as well, but a little bit lighter in color. Difference in shape. The zucchini is much thinner, but let's just try the zucchini alone and see what it's like. Alrighty, here we go. Zucchini pineapple, itadakimasu. Very sweet. Hmm. I like the texture. The texture is chewy and soft, similar to a fruit leather, a little bit thicker. But does it taste like pineapple? A bit. It tastes kind of vaguely fruity. 
The pineapple flavor is not as intense as I expected it to be. I was expecting really intense, clear pineapple flavor. Rather than being clear pineapple flavor, it just tastes like a dried fruit. It could almost be like a dried apricot. It has that similar kind of dried apricot texture and just kind of vague fruit flavor. Hmm. And it is very sweet. I think if I were to try this recipe again, I would try it without the sugar. It does make for a fun snack though. Let's compare that with the real dried pineapple. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Wow, these are very sweet as well. About the same level of sweetness as the candied zucchini. This has more of a fibrous texture to it, but hmm, interesting. The pineapple doesn't have a really clear, distinctive pineapple flavor either. It's there, but it's not as pronounced as I expected it to be. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. The zucchini definitely has more of a candy texture, chewy, and has a little bit of elasticity, almost more like licorice, while the pineapple mm -hmm, has a more candy crystalline outside while being slightly fibrous in the middle, but neither one of them has a very strong pineapple-y flavor. Crazy! Although the real pineapple does have a little bit more pineapple flavor than the zucchini. Crazy. So final thoughts on the dried zucchini turned into pineapple. It's actually not bad. It has a great texture. The pineapple flavor isn't as strong or clear as I thought it was going to be, but neither is it in the actual dried pineapple itself. But as a homemade treat, as a way to use up zucchini, yeah, not half bad. Not much effort to it at all. You are using some energy to run the dehydrator, but not so much. And in the winter time, this would probably be a fantastic little dried vegetable fruit snack. <laughs> Great texture. Love the texture, nice and chewy. I'm gonna set these aside for just a minute and I'm gonna prepare the other recipe. So I'm gonna be making a smaller batch of this. If you want the original amounts, I'll put the link down below. So I'm gonna take two cups of pineapple juice and add them to a saucepan. So while that's coming up to a simmer, I'm gonna prep my zucchini. And just like the first recipe, we're going to cube this. So the bottom of the zucchini has more seeds. So we're gonna cut more of that out. And I will feed that to my chickens. So don't feel that any of that will go to waste. I'm gonna add some sugar to our pineapple juice. Now we're gonna add some lemon juice. If you're gonna can this, make sure you follow the recipe to the T. It's very important to have the correct amount of acidity when you're canning, otherwise it will not be preserved. Now we're gonna add our zucchini. So we're gonna cook this until they're completely tender and absorb all of that pineapple elixir. So my zucchini pineapple is complete. It took about 20 minutes for the zucchini to cook down completely tender. And surprisingly, it does look a bit like pineapple, at least canned pineapple. On the plate, it looks like yellow zucchini. <laughs> it doesn't look like pineapple, but let's see how it tastes. Itadakimasu. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I can taste any zucchini. Hmm. Maybe just a little bit, because in terms of flavor, it tastes like canned pineapple juice. It has that cooked pineapple flavor to it. It's not as concentrated and acidic as true canned pineapple, but it does have a fibrous texture, which elicits idea of like, okay, this is vegetal or fruit-like. <laughs> the flavor is just a little bit strange, but as a substitute or as a way to use up zucchini, I think this is actually quite clever. Alrighty, my lovelies, there you have it. Two ways to turn zucchini into pineapple. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chrissy, for getting in touch with me and sharing this recipe with me. If you'd like to find me, you can find me on social media. I love hearing from you. And thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video. Subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>